Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Muted Vocal. I'm joined today by a special guest. Hello. No? <laughs> Recognise yeah. her? Miss Polly Garble Creations. Hello, Jennifer. This is Jennifer, Jennifer. Today we're going to be playing through Resident Evil. As you can probably tell, we're playing something. Um, we're opting for Jill Valentine yes. today. Um not because she's a girl. Well, just I mean, because you think the character might have some interesting. There's some interesting um, additional characters and that kind of thing. Oh yeah, so. yeah. There's, there's definitely a different experience playing it with uh, Jill. Now I've played this game before, many times back in the nineties, and I've even played the um, GameCube version of this, which Ooh. was essentially the same thing, but. I haven't played this new HD remastered version. We're playing it through Steam. Got a control pad here, and um, we're probably just going to get stuck in and see yeah. how this works. As I've seen it, I've never played it myself. So I've had a PlayStation. Yeah. My brother played it, but I've never. So you're in for a treat. I've never Jennifer. played it. Whether it'll be a frightening treat <laughs> remains to be seen. Maybe. Um, and again, an interesting ASMR experiment. How relaxing is Resident Evil? Yeah, I don't know. Well, we'll find out, won't we? With a um, few snacks. We have a few snacks. We're armed with Vimto. For the Brits out there, you probably know what that is. For everybody else, it's a kind of cordial fruit drink from Salford near Manchester. Salford near Manchester. And we have two bowls of crisps. We have... Um, what are you on? Um... Sea salt and cider vinegar flavoured. Oh. Tasty. Nice. What are you on? Um, cheese and chives. Let's get one here. You can, you can almost hear the cheese. <laughs> yeah, and you can smell the hives. Mm. Or should that be chives? <laughs> Hives, not hives. You don't have hives, do you? I don't have hives. This is getting off to a bad start. I don't. Right. My crisps don't have hives either. Right, there's there's too much food distraction here. Let's <laughs> get on with the game. Let's get on with it. Jill Valentine. I think there's um, an opening movie to sit through. Oh yes. Alpha team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots. Bravo team. You disappeared during the middle of their mission. Bizarre murder cases Yeah, they changed some of the original dialogue. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently beaten. The acting has improved marginally. The Bravo yeah. team was sent in to investigate. But we lost contact. Look, Chris. Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Uh oh. Joseph. Safe for the remaining body of Kevin. Oh, oh Kevin. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare. Of course it did. Because those woods look completely inviting. Oh yeah. We're pitching up a tent and staying here for the night. Well, I I'd say it's an option. I mean, you might want to reconsider that mm -hmm. idea okay. in a moment. Okay, I'll have a think. I'll keep you posted. Let me just keep eating these, oh dear. Keep eating these crisps. Okay. I already don't want to stay here. What have you seen, Bandana Man? <sighs> Agony City. Ooh. Well, he's certainly not going to be getting his uh, ASMR fix tonight. She looks pretty scared. I feel like me. Oh. Mm. Here it comes. Come on. 
Chris sounds a little bit like um, <coughs> Kyle Reese from The mm. Terminator. Come on! Come on! Come Mike. on! Michael Bean, the actor, of course. Ooh. Brad's bailing. Uh-oh. He's obviously in charge. I'm still curious as to why he's wearing sunglasses. Yeah, I hadn't even thought of that. Enter the survival horror. There are only three stars members left now. Oh no. Captain Wesker, Barry, and myself. We Look don't at that for a place. We don't know where Chris is. What is this place? Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. Hey Wesker, where's Chris? Jill no. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find it looks like a cross between Hayden Christensen Chris. and Barry Pepper. <laughs> Jill, go and investigate. And that's two Barrys then. I'm going with her. Barry and Barry. Barry, Barry, and Chris and I go back a long way. All right, Jill. Although he's Jill. Barry Hayden. I'll secure this area. So. Stay sharp. I'm okay. So was he in this before he was in Star Wars or after Star Wars? Who BP? Hayden Christensen. Oh, I was thinking of BP. Um, this came first, so let's be this. <laughs> A dining room. A dining room. Now, what's this here? Shining on the. Ah! The only movement is the silent flicker of the candle's flame. Presumably, that means I can't pick anything up yet. I think uh, we are. The situation is too dire. I think you'd better take a look at this. Yeah, apparently so. What is it? Uh oh. Tomato ketchup. Blood. It looks like blood. Jill, let's see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. I will be I examining this. With all of my tools that yeah, I don't have. He forgot his microscope. <laughs> Perhaps there's a chemistry set back here. Maybe you can help him. <laughs> See if he can figure out whose blood this is. By touch and taste alone. Mm. I hope he like doesn't Chris. taste it. Wait a minute. I think I know what... Uh, whoops. What we're going to run into here. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Ooh. It's Richard O'Brien. <laughs> Rocky. Oh, oh no. Well, that probably well, he's only me. inviting you to play the Crystal Maze. I wish it was that simple. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see if Barry can take care of this thing. Barry! What is it? Look out! It's right. a monster! Oh, it's a monster, is it? Let me take care of it! No, oh, Barry, come on. Do a better job than that. Decked. I found Kenneth killed by this thing. So that was one of our party then. Kenneth. Oh dear. Kenneth was the guy who uh, had the misfortune of bumping into Richard O'Brien. Can I pick that up? Yep, there we go. Now, Jennifer. Yes. Using an ink ribbon mm -hmm. and a typewriter, you can save your game. Oh, okay. Uh oh. Richard's back on his feet. So they, he died, but he didn't. I think well, we just knocked dead. him down temporarily. Okay. Wesker. BP's disappeared. It would seem. Jill, help me look for him. Let's not leave this mall. Good idea. Oh dear. Let's not leave this hall. Mm. Don't leave the hall, then muted vocal. I'll do my best, Polygarbal. Well, that, that, what, what was that all about? <laughs> Better finish searching the hall first. I don't like the idea of going down there anyway. I, I 
don't see anything, Barry. Is that not it? Yeah, do I have to go upstairs as well? Apparently so. I'm pretty so sure. So Barry's going to stand in the middle and let you search the hall, and he's probably going to do nothing. Well, like he did in the last room, just lazy bugger. Yes. Lazy bugger. Lazy bugger. He spent most of his time just dabbing at that tomato ketchup, didn't he? Yeah. Probably thinking about sandwiches. Hot dogs. Mm. Jumping frogs and Albuquerque. Albuquerque. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Oh well, that's that. Barry. Anyone, Jill? No. Nothing. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris, and now Wesker. There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room. Okay, then. I'll try the door on the other Just side. in we case there was know. anything that he missed Imagine. from the dining room yeah. last time. We can't get enough of that ketchup. Let's start from the first floor. I'll investigate the dining room again. Yeah, definitely changed a lot of the dialogue. Again, it must have been um, like this in the GameCube version, but I, I, may need it. I can't remember. Listen, the original lines were just hilarious. Mm. Meet up in this hall. Got it? Okay. Okay. Barry. Now, I believe... Right, I'm going to avoid opening that front door because I think you might let a dog in. I don't want to do that. Okay. So, did he say go in here? What's this room? It's locked. It's Emblem locked. of a helmet. So presumably that's the key type helmet key. Okay, so the, there are different kinds of keys. I think so. I definitely remember the helmet key. This thing. Um, oh, don't want to go that way. I can push something. this. You see this shiny thing? Oh, I was thing. gonna say there's something flashing in, in inside that urn. Yeah. Or whatever, whatever that is. Is it an urn? It looks to be. Not it. Can I get up here? A map. Ooh, a map. Let's have it. You got the map. Let's have a look at the map. So. So yeah. Green areas completely cleared. Okay. Um, red areas obviously got things in there that we still need to pick up. Okay. Or so the red areas we've been in, but we've we've not we necessarily need to do. completed the area yet. Okay. It's quite a large um, space, isn't it? And this is just the first floor. Dear me. Don't like the look of this. An eerie picture Ooh. of the mansion. It's an eerie looking mansion, isn't oh. it? Ooh, what's that? Dagger. Defen yeah, it's a kind of defensive dagger. Yeah, defensive items. So, okay. So, so it gives you an option to get away from a, um, a zombie at close range. Or any, any creature that attacks you at okay. close range. Uh, am I equipped? So I've got the hang on. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh. Jill, uh -oh. get up. I don't like this guy uh, at all. No. Oh, I ran oh, straight no. into him. So that exact So kind there of was thing. your defensive dagger. And you're running away from I'm him. getting away from him so he doesn't corner me again. So will he follow you? I thought he might. Oh, I've run into him again. Oh, what a fool. Oh dear. He's dead. He seemed to die rather easily, didn't he? Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. How can you tell? Because the aim feature, when you press that, it would target in on, okay. on him. It'd zero in on him, should I say. Yeah, the, um, the control system's a bit funny. If you run into that area, now, now you need to press up. I, I can't figure it out. It's a bit clumsy. The perspective like looks that, yeah. really strange as, as, as the well. perspective changes, okay. so does the... Uh, where well, you need to control the direction that you, you point to. Okay. On the D-pad, the direction pad is reversed. Essentially. Okay. Sorry about that. I was rather confusing, wasn't it? 
<laughs> I've no idea what you're talking about. I don't think I have any idea either. <laughs> um, well, he said concentrate on the first floor. Okay. Let's see if he's in here still. So I've encountered two zombies so far, haven't we? Mm, We're alive and kicking. Oh, where's he He's gone? He's not here. <gasps> Liar. So that's Chris, Wesker, and Barry. Oh, all done hmm. Don't know, run around. Ah, oh. Richard O'Brien's back. Did you kill him? No. These angles make it really difficult, don't they? Is he dead? I don't know, he should be because he'd already taken a beating from Barry. So this will be Kenneth. So that's and Kenneth. Oh dear. Looks like he's holding something. It's the film that belonged to Kenneth. Video player. We need to okay. keep our eye out for a video player. Yeah. Is he holding anything else? No. The corpse of your... Oh, lovely. It looks like his throat's been cut. Very That's nice. That's not pleasant for him, is it? Okay, so... Was Richard O'Brien holding anything? That's a good... Did he just disappear? No, he's still there. No, I always forget to check whether or not... Um, Do the zombies carry things? Obviously not. That's rather unfortunate. Yeah. I've never known undead to carry anything. Not that I've ever met any undead. What? Thankfully. You've never met anybody undead? No, never, thankfully. This guy. Oh, no. An, An instant, instant death. death. I've got a feeling that he's not going to stay dead. Things in this place don't normally stay dead. These are um, health herbs. So what you have with these is the ability to combine them together to increase the potency. Okay. So for example, there are red herbs and blue herbs as well. Blue, like a, the ability to heal the effects of poison. Okay. And the red ones just kind of amplify the effects of a, a green herb when mixed together. Okay. Don't like the look of this area. More plants. So again, I don't think I need more any dead more... dead people. Just yet. <clears throat> uh -oh. Whoa! Uh -oh. That walked right into him, didn't we? Is he he's dead? dead? Oh, he's bleeding out. Oh dear. He is quick, dead. Quick, quick, get a doctor. Is anybody here a doctor? I don't think he's the kind of guy that we want to resuscitate, really. <laughs> I mean, maybe you do. Maybe you're all, all caring and concerned for the, the man. Arrow? Of course, yeah, this is telling us that we need to examine items to get the most out of them. So this oh, okay. is a detachable arrowhead. Okay. I can't imagine what its purpose could be. Ooh, a clip. Oh, yes. Or a magazine. A magazine, yeah, so that'll come in handy along the way. So let's just... Um, so you that. just com you click to combine them. Yes. That, Sorry, that reloads my, you. My um. So if you didn't do that, and you were shooting, would you reload? I think the character would. the would character reload? Automatically reload. Yes. However, if you have the time to reload manually, then probably do make it. the most of that opportunity. Come on, that was too easy. Was that a no? Oh dear. What were you saying? Um, I, I'm actually shocked. He went down with one shot and now he's, he's causing me a world of hurt. Caution. See, now, now would be a good time okay, to... Okay, uh, I see. Con there we go. So now we're right. fine again. We'll consume some, and some is he herbage. Dead? He's dead. What's that? This, I think you can push over the edge. See, she's holding like a... Um, some sort of diamond. Something like that. So if we push this over the edge, 
we will be able to collect whatever it is later. Look at that. Clever. Timber. So what do you think so far, Jennifer? Creepy or actually yeah, quite... It's, no, um, it's creepy. Yeah, it is creepy. I just I didn't missed let you finish a door. sentence, actually. But creepy or quite... Um, a lot of these things are quite um, I find. <laughs> Some things are almost too um. Too um. Ooh, oh, so I almost missed that. Could have done with that five minutes ago when that zombie went to eat my head. Nah. Locked. So sword yes. Emblem. So that's helmet key and a sword, sword key, key that we're looking for. And we currently possess neither, okay. which is quite Dokey. restrictive. Yeah. That Maybe we could do with finding one of those. Just, you know, stating the obvious. Just throwing it out there. <laughs> Just throwing it out there. Oh. Oh, a hidden door. The fact that there is a tombstone on the door fills my heart with dread. Hmm. Okay, this is an incredibly eerie courtyard. Something in that oh, area. Oh, this is unpleasant. Oh. To say the least. Oh, what's that? Shotgun uh, shells. Yes. I'd be surprised. We don't have a shotgun. No, I was going to say I'd be surprised if we managed to get our hands on a shotgun at this stage. So what's this? Ah, that arrow head. Looks kind of familiar. Indentation looks very familiar. Can we put this in there? Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh no. Oh. I've got a feeling we aren't really going to enjoy what might be down here. Oh, that noise. Machinery in a basement. Never good. Never good. Ooh. What are these things? I'm sufficiently creeped out right now. Stone statue with a hole where the mouth should be. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we need to collect items. Oh. Book is fitted perfectly on the indentation. Well, there's a coffin the suspended places. above this book. Is this a good idea to remove the book? That coffin is looking incredibly ominous there. However, I believe that whatever dwells within the coffin is going to remain there until we um, put whatever we need to put on those heads. Okay, so we're supposed to collect something for the, Ooh. the heads. Oh, a key! Yes, we'll remove the key. Mansion key. Oh, yay. What's in the book? Book of Curses, the four masks. masks. The mask that speaks no evil. A mask that smells no evil. A mask that sees no evil. A mask that cannot speak, smell, or see evil. When all four fall into place, evil will awaken. Oh dear. Oh dear. So that gives us some idea of what awaits us down the road. Mm. Oh, a sword. Sword key. So that's the sword key. Absolutely. So can you remember which of the two door? Right, it was the one at the end okay. of the top of the say, dining no, room, wasn't it? I don't have a memory. I don't know. What did I you don't do even with your memory, Jennifer? I don't know. I've lost it what when was? I was really about it's long gone. four or five years old. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't remember anything between now and being five years old? No, nothing at all. No, I, I don't have a very good sense of direction at all. Oh. I, don't, I don't remember things. Apparently I'm, I have no recollection of what button to press. That's a problem. Okay. <laughs> it's a problem that I have. I'm learning to deal with it. Okay. Shall we proceed? So we're back in the dining room once again, and I do believe there was a door with a sword emblem on the doorknob. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, sword key. Let's have a look, see. See so what we can find. Oh, my throat made a funny noise. Oh, that door looks creepy. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh, here he comes. Oh dear. Come on, mister. See, 
this guy doesn't pose much of a threat because um, he's on the other side of those railings. I I've said this before though, and then ended up in a world of hurt. Okay. Oh, he's creeping. Whoa! Oh. Bullet to the head. Although, wait, wait a minute. Oh, oh I do. I heard something else. There's He's no not way. dead. No. Let's get away from him. You know what happened last time? <laughs> now he's dead. I think they have the tendency to fall once. There you go. Yeah, he's, he's bleeding okay. out. A helmet door. Helmet. Oh, don't like this door. Uh oh. I think I know what's on the other side of that is the passageway where we picked up the arrowhead. Okay. A few minutes ago. I think. Come on, Jill. Don't like him. Is he going to come alive? Ooh, Several hours several usually hours. means he's about ready to uh, come back from the dead. I bet he smells right. But... Oh, <laughs> like a bad egg. Oh, that's ah, nice. this is a um, safe room, hence oh. the uh, major key music. So what we can do in here usually is um, these chests can be used to store equipment. Okay. And we can access anything that's in these chests, provided there is a chest in each and every. Start again. Okay. So we have safe rooms okay. with chests now no matter what you put in a chest in whichever room you can access it from another room oh, okay. as long as you've put it in this chest as long as the room has a chest in it you can go in and essentially that's it sorry okay. about my terrible description <laughs> um, again it's been a while so okay. I don't think I'm going to save it yet I think we're alright for now Famous last words. I'm gonna plow forward. Okay. And, and then presume, presumably there's more than one safe room. I think yeah, I, I, think, I think I just dropped a crisp. Oh no. Oops. Don't wanna lose crisps. I do not. Um I'm gonna proceed for a little while and then when we find the next safe room, I think we will hand over the controls polygarble. Mm. Ooh, battery pack. I think that's another spare weapon, isn't it? That's a stun oh. walk. Oh, yeah, shotgun. Broken, broken shotgun. Broken shotgun. Do we want the broken shotgun? I don't know what use will that be. I don't think we want a broken one. Although it kind of feels like it's going to come in use at some point, isn't it? Again, I'm not going to bother with any additional kerosene. We're going to have plenty of ink ribbons by the time this game's over. Hmm. Let's keep going. Ah. Ooh, armour. So. That's another key. Helmet, essentially sword and armour. So that's about all we can do down here for now, isn't it? Oh. I will take... Mm, that body's still there, I don't like that. Um, How can they come back to life? I don't know. Ooh. I certainly hope not. Oh, it's here. Okay. I don't really know what kind of changes have been made for this um, HD remaster. I don't know if it's um, if it's too dissimilar to the GameCube. I don't know. Well, I mean, I don't know if it's exactly the same as the GameCube version. Okay. That remains so the, to be seen. Is the GameCube version different to the PlayStation version? Yes. Okay. The GameCube version is essentially this, but you know, without the um, HD graphics. That's, that's okay. as I hear it anyway. Um. The only thing I remember from these games, something 
um, a moment where the, some of the dogs jump through a window as you're going past. I don't know whether that was this one or that. the second one, but it was definitely on the PlayStation. It's very likely that it was, was this one. Oh, that... Oh, I didn't need to hear the chains. I really didn't need that to hear the chains as well. sounds awful. Yeah, absolutely. Oof. Oh, creeped. Creeps out. It's definitely um, one to give you the shivers. I'm pretty sure this door here was a sword key, yes. Mm. I'm just... Uh, I'm having a little think now. See if I can recall what we might. Oh, Phew, dear oh, me! God. I filled my heart with a little bit of fear. I don't know why. <laughs> Those angles are, are completely oh, unnecessary. Awful. Oh. This door really. Oh, I avoided the last door that looked like this, didn't I? You did. Uh oh. Oh, it's on the other side of that fence. Okay, better stay on the other side of that fence. <laughs> <laughs> Chemical. Let's take that. So you hear the, the um Okay. The red and green saw. I'll take a red. I'm really hoping those dogs stay on the other side of that <laughs> fence. And I will now combine the two. So now okay. we have a, a very potent mixed herb um, combo. Oh dear, what's in here? Okay. Doors without locks are often as disconcerting as doors with locks. Nobody likes to see a bathtub full of water like that. Oh, that looks horrible. Should I, uh... Mm -hmm. oh. Should I remove the plug? I, I already know this was a bad idea. I already know it. Oh! <laughs> Oh, Jill. Oh, How many close no. encounters do you need? Step on his head, step on his head. Oh, oh. oh lovely. Oh. Oh. oh, it's another dagger. I thought it might have been something a little bit more precious. But it wasn't. <laughs> My precious, precious, filthy hobbitses. Okay. This seems a little bit quiet. Yeah. All too quiet. I don't like it when it's too quiet. No, neither do I. But then I don't like hear. I don't like hearing. Ooh. Either. No, I mean I was quite happy um, performing the role of a zombie recently, yeah. but um, um, I, I'm always happy to be the zombie, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd rather be the zombie than, than come be across one. by one, yeah. There's nothing of interest here, there we go, have another dagger, and... So those daggers, they're not in your inventory? No, they're kind of surplus. Okay, so they're additional. Defensive items, okay. yeah, so they don't take oh, up any good. space. Shotgun. Is this not a broken shotgun? Ah. Thank goodness for that. Seeing as though I've just activated some kind oh. of switch, I'm kind of wondering whether or not we should have brought the... Uh, the broken the shotgun. broken shotgun with us. Ah. Okay, well, well that's, what that's what happened. What has that done? Uh, obviously, oh, oh no. something. Oh no, Indiana Jones. This is definitely an Indiana Jones. I don't touch nothing. I step while you step. 
I think not. You'll call him Dr. Jones, <laughs> call him Dr. Jones <laughs> Oh, God. What did I do now? Oh, or the Family Guy version. Wesker! Lady only Barry! here because she's humping director. <laughs> Jill, oh, you convenient. Barry! Barry, get me out of here! The, door of here. the door's jammed. Come on, Barry. Whoa, Barry. Get her out of there, quick, quick, quick. Grab my hand. He hesitated a bit. He did. I was wondering whether or not he really should save her, I think. <laughs> Come on, Barry, what have you what have you been up to? Tell me you found Chris and that that's the end of the game. Barry. That was a close one. You're telling me I say you fit nicely into a sandwich. Really? No time for jokes, <laughs> Barry. No time for terrible jokes like that. But Barry, didn't you say you were going back to the dining room to find other clues? I'm glad and all, but why are you here? I just had something I wanted to check. Anyway, we should get back to Susan Suspicious Western. man. Yeah. Suspicious man. And Thanks, a, uh, a throat noise polygarble. Don't mention it. It's all about the throat noise polygarble. That was really suspicious. Well, Shifty Barry. The whole game has been particularly suspicious up until yeah. this point. I thought Barry was on our side. I just had something I needed to uh, check. A hat. Oh, I knew there was going to be something lingering in the dark though. Bleed out, bleed out. It's not dead. Ooh. Ooh. Gotta be oh. dead, gotta be dead, gotta be dead, gotta be dead. Yes, he's dead. It's locked. Armour. So that's armour and a helmet key we need now. Yeah. So, what's in here? It's on the outside. It's condensation. condensation. Whoa! Oh. Thank God for the emergency daggers. You can lunge for me again. I then. did see him lunge for you, that's... He bleeding out? Yes, he's bleeding out. I think somebody else. Oh. oh no. Get away from him. <laughs> oh. Whoa. He fell down the stairs. Well, these guys know. come from all of a sudden anyway. Oh. Where's his head gone? It's Get kind of. Glitch in the game. That's a there. classic <laughs> game glitch, though, isn't it? <laughs> Head yeah. through wall technique. Ah, right, okay. I forgot oh. we picked the shotgun up. So you can I really think go this is another um, safe room. Now, before I do a save, a couple of objects that I think we need to get. And then we'll probably be wise to start the next video with yourself. Okay. What, what's happening here? What's going on? Uh, yes, yes, I think we will. What's that on the floor? I'm not sure if that's like a whiskey hip flask or something. Mm. Okay, so I don't think we need that anytime soon. Nor do we need the knife anytime soon. And if we're just going to go and collect a few objects that I think are up the stairs then we can leave a lot of things in here if we're going to come back to this room. Okay. Anyway. It so is... So we're going to go and collect some things, come back to this room and then save. Then give the game a save and probably leave it at that for now. Okay. Just to keep these files from running away with uh, the entirety of my hard drive. Yeah. yeah oh, did, was there a... Uh, yes, there is a... I think we can fill these with kerosene. If we're close enough to the kerosene. Ah, right, there we okay. go. Okay. So, presumably, we had something like a lighter. These things might become weapons. Okay. Could incinerate a creature or two. Nah, I have if to... If you run um, out of bullets. Yes. I have to reaffirm at this point that I haven't played this game for some ten years or more. Okay. So, let's 
it's all a bit so shady. You rubbish at it is what oh, you're Oh, absolutely crap. You're gonna, it's going to be awful. Well, I just have to get that excuse in, don't I? <laughs> Wooden mount, what? I just want to say I haven't played this for ten years. It has to be said. Jennifer. Ooh. Well, that is absolutely There's a paper thrilling. attached on the inside. Nothing is written on it. Do you think we might have to do like a... Uh, Sketching. Yeah, at some point. Maybe. Like a, um, like a portrait sketch or something. Like a trace sketch. Oh, I see. You don't mean like a sit down and let me draw you type. <laughs> I, I can't imagine any of these zombies would be too eager to sit for a draw. Sit there and have the portraits <laughs> done on. <laughs> Oh no. Ah. So this. Yeah, involves an animal, a dog, obviously. Mutt. On the second floor. So we've got a, a whistle that we need to blow. Oh. A dog whistle. Call the dog, and it's presumably going to be carrying something that we need. Um, that'll be a fun encounter. Botany. So this is the whole. Bump about the uh, about the herbs. About the herbs, yes. Okay. Lighter. Oh, How okay. convenient Good. is that? Yeah. So I pop through this door. So the light, the lighter we'll use with the kerosene. I think to it's set the zombies on fire. Some sort of weapon. I don't even know exactly. Like be kind of how close you would have to get to them. Another emblem of armor. Armor. Helmet. Shield? Was that another one? I don't think we've had that. Shield oh, so there's, key? Just, there's another I one. I think that there's four altogether, I think. Ooh. Ah, they have another nice combination of. Oh. No, we won't. No, we won't. But we do know they're here. Yeah, there's a fireplace here that needs to be uh, lit. Oh. Mine's carved into the relief. Glow red in the intense heat. I don't I suppose what that means. So is that something that we? Ah. Oh. It's the map of the second floor. Ah, I see. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. You got the map. The mount's gone, so we can now combine some more. Herbs. Well, that was quite an efficient visit. Let's, um... I thought you were going to combine some more herbs. Helmet. I was just checking what uh, the what emblem kind of was. On the door. <coughs> so we'll have a greenie. We'll mix that with a uh, ready. Okay. Greenie mix that with a ready. And we've got um, more potent herbs. So I'll probably do at this stage. Polygarble. Yes, muted is, um, vocal. Pop down to the little safe room down there and we will have ourselves a saved game. <laughs> we'll have ourselves a saved game. North of the wall. <laughs> north of the wall. We are north of the wall. Absolutely. There we go. So. Oh, I like the, the nice music in the safe room. It feels good, doesn't it? Yeah, like, <laughs> there's no zombies in here. <laughs> it no definitely zombies feels in here. safe. So I'm going to put these away for now. I feel like we don't need any of that stuff. A lighter. You never know when a lighter can come in, come in handy. Um, oh, I don't mean to do that. We will f possibly take the chemicals. The other things are just practicalities, aren't they? Yeah. Like uh, weapons and, and health. So I'll take a, an ink ribbon so that we can save the game. Yeah. And run around in circles a couple of times. <laughs> okay, let's save. And that... Okay, Ladies and gentlemen, is, is the first part in our Resident Evil HD ASMR playthrough. Yeah, it's the fun, next, I like it. Yeah, I'm glad that um, you're warming to it, Jennifer. Mm. In the next uh, episode, um, Jennifer will helm 
The controls. The controls. <laughs> and um, we will delve deeper into the mansion, see what else we can find. Okay, Hopefully, terrified. we will proceed to the next save point without a death. Well, and if we yeah, do we'll die, see. then Jennifer will accept our responsibility. <laughs> yes, she will. <laughs> good crisps. They so, good crisps. Until then, ladies and gentlemen, it's farewell from me. And farewell from me. Until next time. Bye-bye. Goodbye.